What's up, Clats? Boy, do we have a video for you today. We are doing a cheap food guide on the city of Tel Aviv. We are back in Tel Aviv right now, which is notoriously known as a really expensive city. And we're here in the center in downtown near the Shuka Kalmel, also known as the Carmel Market. And we're gonna show you how you can eat authentic and eat local and eat cheap in this really expensive city. So let's head on in. All right, so first thing we need to talk about is the fact that we're gonna to try to initiate a goal for this video. Every time I do one of these, I just try to find the cheapest foods. But since I know Israel a little better, I'm gonna to try to not pass the 10 shekel mark. 10 shekel equals about $2. So we're gonna to try to find a meal every single time for $2. Sometimes it won't be a meal, sometimes it'll just be something tasty, but we're gonna to, to try to not pass the $2 mark. So first thing you notice when you come in here are the wide array of vegetables and fruits. Uh, if you're coming here and you wanna just spend money on, uh, on your own groceries, this is the place to do it. And I've talked about this before. But this is definitely a place to do it. You have alleys and alleys of fresh fruits and vegetables across the entire market. Alrighty, so our first destination for cheap places to eat. This right here is called Kofix. The only reason I'm adding this in, because it is a branch store, it's like a chain restaurant. The only reason I'm adding it in, because being part of Israeli culture and being part of Tel Aviv specifically, means you gotta have iced coffee. Israelis and Tel Avivians love their iced coffee. It is crucial, and it's only five shekels for a really, really good cup of it. So. We're gonna head on in there, get ourselves a five, five shekel cup of coffee, and enjoy that on a really hot day. So here is our Kofix. It is a very, uh, very generic cup of coffee, but it's very good for five shekels. Once again, this isn't the most exotic Israeli food, but it works. So I definitely want to be clear about why I'm making this video. I want a lot of you guys to come out here specifically to Israel. And I don't want it to be scary for you because the prices are a little intimidating. I know a lot of people plan trips out here and then they see the prices and they're like, geez, that's a lot of money I'm gonna be spending. But it's possible to stay cheap here. It's just a lot of work. Oh, walk away. Shall fall off it? All right, so just down the street from the shoot where we were is actually the street called King George. And they sell here a pita full of falafel balls for six chicken. So it's way under what we were trying to hit and it's packed to the brim with food. It's a very filling meal. And that's, that's only about a dollar. That is excellent. They put trina on top, salad inside, and the falafel balls are super fresh. So for six check here, that really can't be beat. I am packed to the brim with food. That was delicious. And now one thing I wanted to note about that is that there's stuff like that all over Israel. Falafel in a pita or shawarma in a pita, they can range anywhere from five shekel to about 15 shekel. But that's a great deal for downtown Tel Aviv, which is notoriously expensive because of tourism. So make sure you come on down there. It's called Falafel Ratzon on King George Street. Guys, check this out. I discovered this rapper earlier this year. His name's Kosher Dills. And he's, uh, he's here in Tel Aviv and we just ran into him randomly. He's performing outside of the market. Yeah, check this out. Uh, rapping like that. Just kidding, shout out to the traveling clad. Put a little beater with the hummus Mix it with some couscous Deliver the news news, yeah I thought I met you here like damn cheese With the 305 wraps in my and me Alright, so we're back in Shulka Kalma now And we're gonna look for some delicious small little taster deals To find inside of the shuk. Alright, so behind us they sell these little uh, cigars And this thing called Cuba Which is like dough filled with meat Only six shekel as well And they're, they're pretty filling we just got our kuba and our cigar. So this is a kuba. It's like a dough filled with meat on the inside. And this is actually from Iraqi ethnicity, which is what my family's from. So I love this a little extra. The second thing in this bag is referred to as a cigar. You can see why, it looks like a cigar. Also, delicious meat filled on the inside. And this one has a little more of a tomato sauce with it. Mmm, I like this one a little better. It is delicious and six shekel for each one. So the last thing we're gonna show you here is actually carrot juice. It's only five shekels. They're absolutely delicious and there's a bunch of fresh juices from all of this all across of Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv is huge into juicing, so just uh, make sure you find them. And it'll be delicious and fresh just like that. No. This is delicious carrot juice. Mm, super fresh and they have this for the lemonade and the lemonade is absolutely delicious as well So make sure you don't miss out on that. Oh, man We've exited the market. And I am freaking full. 
I am so full. Moshe has just informed me that I've only spent eight dollars on all the food for today. So eight bucks, and that's fed me pretty well for Tel Aviv. Uh, usually, you're looking at something between the forty to fifty to sixty range when you're sitting down in a restaurant here, plus tip. So, you know, this is cutting it down by a lot. I think we only spend about like thirty-eight shekel in total. So. Excellent, excellent experience. Listen, it's a little bit of a hassle. You gotta work a little bit to find the cheap foods. You gotta find the cheap drinks, fill yourself up correctly. Uh, but you're staying authentic. You know, you're, you're staying authentic to the tastes of Israel and what Israeli people usually eat. So as this video is coming to a close and we are getting ready to hit the hay for the day after eating some delicious food, we are visiting the old Jaffa Hostel. The old Yafo Hostel is our sponsor for this video today. They have helped us out to make this episode possible. But that is all for us, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, make sure to check the hostel down in the description. If you want to see a full tour of it, it'll be in yesterday's video. So make sure you check that in somewhere over here on the screen or down in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. I love you a long time. That was such an awesome video. I'll see you. Bye-bye.